So what about perpendicular lines? Well, perpendicular lines are at right angles to each other, so their gradients are not the same, uh, but their gradients do multiply to give negative one. So uh, if we have a look at these lines here, we have the lines y equals three x minus one, that's in red down here, and we have the line y equals minus the third x plus five, the blue line up here. Uh, so what about these gradients then? If we multiply them together, well, we have uh, the gradient of three and we have a gradient of negative a third. So three times minus a third. So that equals minus three over three. If you cancel that down, you get minus one. So that's the case for any perpendicular lines. If you multiply the gradients together, you're always gonna get minus one. So moving on then, let's have a look at a second example, this time about perpendicular lines. So is the line x plus 4y equals 8 perpendicular to the line y equals 4x minus 13? Well, what's the condition for perpendicular lines? Uh, that's that the product of the gradients, uh, so let's say the gradients product equals minus 1. So if you multiply the two gradients together, you get minus 1. Uh, but we've got a line in the form y equals mx plus c, and we've got one that isn't. So let's rearrange this one that isn't. So let's just rewrite it, x plus 4y equals 8. So we need to minus x from both sides here to get y on its own. So y equals minus x plus 8. Then we just divide both sides by 4 to get y on its own. Uh, so y equals minus a quarter x plus 2. Uh, so we now have this in the form y equals mx plus c. As you can see, the gradient is minus a quarter. And here the gradient is 4. So if we multiply these together, we get 4 times minus quarter so that equals minus four over four which cancels to minus one so yes the gradients product is minus one so therefore the lines are perpendicular if you'd like to get some practice with some parallel and perpendicular line exam style questions then you can take our online exam now this is available through our revision platform and you'll find loads of different questions a variety of question types and you get instant feedback on each and every one so this is useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you need to improve on uh, if you are interested, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.